Good morning, buenos días, bonjour, uh, bon, buongiorno. <laughs> Anyang, I say, yo, why is the Italian one always so hard for me to say? Buongiorno, goodness. Welcome back to the vlog. My husband and I are on our way over to uh, Petco, not sponsored, to uh, take our doggies over to uh, their grooming appointment. Gotta get their rabies certificate. Anyway, they have their grooming appointment in a little bit. Then uh, we're just gonna stick around somewhere. Not really sure what it is we're gonna do because we also don't wanna just go shopping everywhere simply because everything is open. We're not the spending kind of people. It's always very helpful to have everything in binders. I love binders. Have you ever seen that um, that organizer? What's her name? Not Marie Kondo. Um, Alejandra, I think, Alejandra.tv. Uh, I used to get a lot of my ideas from her before Marie Kondo ever showed up. And one of the things is binders. I used to love binders before she was a thing. As I was saying, I love binders because everything is in one place and you don't have to look for anything individually, you just grab and go. So on our way there, we can look for the paper that we need. Yep, all right, we're here. Mask is on. No, no, no. Okay. My hair is a mess. Awkward, I know, but let me tell you real quick before somebody walks in. This is my second trip to the restroom in less than half an hour. Uh, it's a GI issues kind of day, I suppose. It's really annoying because at the first store we were checking out furniture and I couldn't be there to talk with my husband like, oh yeah, I like that one, I don't like that one, things like that. And when I got out of the restroom, um, he had already walked the entire store picked out some things he said choose between this and this and whatever and then we left we went to the second store and uh, we were looking at some computer stuff together so i left him alone again i had to rush over here the restroom is outside of the store so i had to rush over here like when i'm here um he texts me we can leave if you want if you need to i told him i'm okay but uh i don't think i'm doing that great I made it back to the store in time, got to be with him a little while, but I'm not feeling that great. He actually got some lunch at a Charlie's, I think, and he ate it in the car. We had a car picnic, but I didn't eat anything. I don't, I don't, I'm not hungry. But he wanted to make the best of this trip while we wait for the doggies to be groomed, and here we are. This is Hickam Air Force Base. Well, I mean, not this, but this is the post at Hickam Air Force Base. he's outside without me because I don't feel great <laughs> I honestly it's not I'm not dying I don't need medicine I don't need to go to the hospital or anything it's just I feel very uncomfortable I feel like there's some reflux going on because this feels kind of I don't want to say hot it's not burning it's just it's like going towards hot and I'm also feeling kind of drained you know that fatigue I tell you about where I have no energy I'm starting to feel that do you even hear how raspy my voice is Still got a few hours to kill before my doggies are done with their grooming, so we're gonna just drive around. We've been home for a while, had some lunch, I'm feeling better. Everything calmed down, I really don't know what it is. But let me show you before I go and I'll tell you where I'm going. We got an area rug 
for the doggies because dear old Luna over here, she's turning 13 this summer and she can't afford to keep slipping and sliding on this floor when she's playing. So we got this for when she's coming indoors because you know there's traction outside and she gets on the slippery floor. So she used to kind of just come running and then whoosh like this just spread out on, on the floor and um, we don't want her to break a hip so we got an area rug it was like 35 bucks like 35 bucks uh she's obviously loving it and as you can see they've already used it quite a bit now i am heading over to my friend's house she left out on the porch for me a label a postage label that she printed out for me because my printer is still on the fritz and i can't run my home business without it so until i can get it fixed or get a new printer i have friends printing things for me what would i do without my army family but i'm gonna take my doggy with me lali vente mama del paseo lali vente Okay, that one she understood. Every chance I get to take him outside of the house, I give him a little ride. Vente, Lali. Vamos, She's so happy. Dale, sube. Sube, papá lo dejo abierto. There you go. Muy bien. Well, the friend left me hanging high and dry, doesn't answer the phone, doesn't answer text messages, did not print out the label that I asked for yesterday. And all I really asked for was to print it out and leave it at her porch, like right on her front porch, I would go pick it up and So my husband is trying to fiddle around with the printer. I'm, I'm an optimistic person, but I know it's not gonna work, but he's still giving it a shot. I messaged a few other friends trying to see, do you have a printer? I just need, one page to print out that's it but let's see what he can uh work here la cosa es si fuera el cartucho no la mayoría pues mira vamos a meter otro cartucho en lo que pero es que no reconoce el printer en absoluto yeah, I was a no-go. I do have a really good friend who offered to bring over her entire printer and disinfect it before dropping it off at the front door. But uh, this is more for like my actual big business project. If I needed to print out more pages, I need this now because it's a shipping label that I bought yesterday. So, ooh, ooh, I got a message. I can go over to her house and print it out. I'll be back. She said, come over. I'll see you later. You didn't expect to see this after that migraine this morning, huh? <laughs> what is this called? I need to focus here. I may have Crohn's, but it doesn't stop me from going down this in flip-flops. <laughs> oh. This one's going straight to the tub. 